Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Fintech Fix. Today we're going to be finding out about how we're going to be paying for things straight from our car seat, how we're going to be using blockchain for cross-border payments, and why POS terminals are going straight in the bin. First up is the very cool news that from now on, Nissans in Brazil will be outfitted with contactless payment stickers. It's gonna allow people to pay for their parking, drive-throughs, and even tolls straight from their seat. The tech will be provided by Fleetcore, a fintech that's been under fire for one of the largest clean energy frauds ever in US history. Customers of their Clean Advantage program would pay Fleetcore to offset their carbon footprint. And they would then invest the technology and programs to help reduce CO2 emissions. However, a report from Citroen thinks that less than 1% of the fees paid by customers has actually gone into helping the environment. Yikes. Next up is the news that MasterCard is partnering with R3 to offer blockchain-powered cross-border payments. Finally! The pilot will be based on the Corda Enterprise platform and will tackle industry pain points such as speed, accuracy, and the cost in the payment. After the announcement, R3 CEO David Rutter said all institutions, large or small, rely on the ability to send and receive payments, but all too often the technology they rely upon is cumbersome and expensive. Cross-border payments can be a particular pain point. Corda was designed specifically for enterprise use cases such as this, and we look forward to supporting MasterCard in bringing blockchain-enabled payments businesses across the globe. This should be very exciting times for both the finance and blockchain industries, as well as MasterCard and R3. Next up in the contactless world is the news that Visa, Samsung, and First Data Fiserv, have teamed up to revolutionize the way that merchants around the world will be able to accept payments. Now, from your phone. No longer will small companies have to shell out for the complicated process to get a POS terminal. Now waiters and waitresses will just give you your Samsung, or theirs. Lastly is the bonkers news that the Hong Kong Stock Exchange has offered a bid to merge with the London Stock Exchange Group. Hong Kong's rationale for the transaction is that LSEG and the HKEX are two of the world's premier market infrastructure businesses, which together would offer unique potential to enhance and capture global capital and data flows. However, nearly $1 billion has been wiped from the Hong Kong exchanges stock as London is expected to rebuff the offer over fears of Beijing's influence, as the government of Hong Kong has actually appointed most of the board members already. Blimey. That was exhausting. What a week in finance. Well, make sure to keep up with the news on Hong Kong and the London Stock Exchange. And thanks for watching. Make sure to catch us the same time next week on the FinTech Fix. Ciao. Reflecting the growing role of fintechs globally, a limited number of specially priced Cybos fintech tickets are available. The ticket includes entrance to the Cybos conference and exhibition for all four days of the event, an invitation to the Cybos closing event on Thursday the 26th of September, access to the latest suite of Cybos tools for networking and complimentary transportation in London. This year in London, the Discover Zone will feature an expected 100 plus fintech exhibitors operating across the spectrum from machine learning learning and reg tech to big data and blockchain. Financial institutions, consultancies and the public sector will gather to showcase their fintech partners and expertise via cutting edge innovation hubs and tech pavilions. More details on the Discover Zone and Inner Tribe, as well as fintech ticket criteria and how to register are available online.